Yes, hello, Australia, and welcome to the Institute of Australian Intelligence for another week, Roy. It's been a frantic week here at the Institute. I What's know. been going on? It's just bum week. Yes, it's Institute. been bum week at the Institute, yes. and it's been tremendous. We've had uh, people representing every state in Australia. Yes. Uh, we've had six from every state who've come in, and uh, we've taken uh, some uh, measurements, measurements, and some plaster and casts. some plaster casts. And anyone, anyone in Australia can come in, have a look. Feel them, fiddle them out, uh, do whatever you like, uh, uh, and then if you want to have a cast of your own, Bob, yes, bring a towel. Yeah. <laughs> and so with that all, all behind us, so yes. to speak, uh, oh, that's now, a pun. yeah, I know, I know. I didn't want you to draw no, attention to it. Just slip that in there. Uh, this week, we, of course, we've got five thousand dollars. Yes. Five Thank you very much. Yes, five thousand dollars up for grabs, and we're going to give that away to the smartest person we meet meet in the next thirty minutes. Right. Let's, Let's get started. Roy and HG have a long-standing commitment to knowledge. Stupidity is un-Australian. So to shine the light back on brightness, we're giving you the chance to win Roy and HG's money. Now please welcome HG Nelson and rampaging Roy Slaver. Yes, our first contestant is a librarian who lives in a haunted house in Melbourne. Can you please welcome Rebecca Lupton? Yes. And I have to say, HG, these are the best contestants we've ever had. They are. They have right. been described to me as being unreal. 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 I've heard the word awesome. Awesome. Yes. And right. unreal. Awesome and unreal. And speaking of awesome and unreal, Rebecca, you uh, live in a haunted house in Melbourne. Yes. How do you know? Is it, what, what's, how does the ghost work? Is it a poltergeist? What's the story? We have two. We have a spectre, yes. which is a woman that yes. just sort of hangs around and watches telly. Yes. And we have a poltergeist which actually chucks stuff and gets rather violent. And how did you discover these, these presences in your house? Well, the, the woman just gets seen every now and then, mostly yeah. out of the corner of your eye, but you do see her. But yeah. the, the, the poltergeist is a bit more obvious. He actually chucked a toolbox Right. At, at somebody. Yeah, yeah, a full, a full toolbox, fully Bloody loaded. hell, must be a, what, a strong poltergeist. Uh, <laughs> a nasty poltergeist, uh, yes. yeah. And the, the spectre, wh what does she watch? Is she like healers or, uh, you know, backyard, backyard blitz, I that sort of rubbish? I think she's partial to the bill. <laughs> Sorry? I, uh, I the bill. Oh, the bill! The bill! Oh, oh big time. You mean she was murdered? <laughs> Look, once we were working on this show here, and I felt as though I sensed baby John Burgess just walking around. <laughs> and of course, Burjo has worked in this studio for many, many years. Yes. Could that be? Could could that be a, a sense of Burjo still lingering about the place? I know he's not dead. He well, technically speaking. Well, a bit of him is. The chin is. The bit he had cut <laughs> off. That's yeah. dead. Yes. Could a real person inhabit another space? Or a living person inhabit another space? Do you think? I believe it's happened. Yes. Doppelganger. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. doppelganger. Yes. yes, well, welcome, Rebecca. And... <laughs> Our second contestant is a boiler maker who directed his own Bluey. Can you welcome Steve Big Pants Rumpton? <laughs> now, Steve, the obvious question is, did you star in your own Bluey? No, I did not. All Why right. not? Too ashamed to drop the pants in front of the rest of the cast. As simple as that. Nothing to show. Nothing to reveal. No, it was a clerical muck-up. Right. You mean you were down to do it, but you couldn't turn up on the day? No, I didn't have a doctor's certificate. Oh, yes. Well, you right, needed a doctor's course. certificate. Course, did, yeah. the, uh, did the star you used, uh, did he get wood? <laughs> <laughs> it was a lesbian scene, in fact. Right, oh, right. Oh, and what was your directing style, Steve? Oh, right, oh, there you are. Off you shoot. Take your clothes off and get out. Go and get at it. I'll just <laughs> look at you through the lens here yeah. of the camera. Looking good. Yeah, do that again. <laughs> yeah, bloody beauty. <laughs> Welcome, Pretty Steve. Much. Yes. <laughs> and our third contestant is a private investigator who's been attacked by a giant rooster. Can you welcome Lee Yardley, Yardy P.I.? <laughs> You, uh, you keep people under surveillance. You're a PI. Is there anyone under surveillance at the moment? Are uh, you following anyone? Well, not while I'm standing here. No, obviously no. not. But I mean, you know, during the day. Oh, there could be, but I couldn't really tell you yeah. because of, you know, confidentiality. Do you wear disguises? I mean, do you... Absolutely. Do you yeah. put on a mow sometimes and a <laughs> hat and sort of walk boldly around yeah. like a bloke? Not, no, no, no mows. But, you know, yeah. wigs and right. dresses and the likes. Well, well, please welcome all our three contestants. 
Roy, only one of these contestants will last the distance and get to challenge us for the whole of our $5,000. Thanks Thank very, very much. much. So let's get started. Categories. Yeah. The categories are as follows, HG. The first one is Exhibit A. Second one, money, money, money. The third, on the job. The fourth is back in the saddle. And the fifth, of course, is scumbags. Now, we had a stab the rabbit competition a little bit earlier on in the night, and Rebecca, you won, so you get the first pick of the board. Um, I'll have Exhibit A, thanks, Roy. Exhibit A, yes, $100 question. All comers, which British artist put a shark in for male to hide and called it art? Any clues? No. Time's no, up. We, look, we'd accept uh, Damien Hurst. And a $50 bonus question for all concerned. How many penises does the male shark have? Uh, yes, Lee? None. Uh, no, anybody else? Uh, yes, Steve? Two. Yeah! Was that a guess, Steve? Was that a guess or have you done a bluey with sharks as well? Was that a guess, an inspired no, guess? Just no, two? I know. You know. Right. <laughs> he's worked with them. <laughs> yes. And he's got good eyesight. Yes, you'd expect him to know. <laughs> Next unlike, category. Unlike Lee. Uh, yes. Next category. Uh, the next category, actually, is, of course, fat idiots. And, Steve, you've got the call of the board. On the job, I reckon. On the job, oh, one fifty dollars question. Which Australian fashion designer once claimed to have slept with John Lennon? R.I.P. Yes, yes Rebecca. Rebecca. Jenny Key. Absolutely yes. right. And a follow-up question. <laughs> Which animal adorned the Jenny Key jumper given to Princess Diana as a wedding gift? Uh, kangaroo? Yes! No, oh, no, no, no sorry. can't accept the kangaroo. Yes, Lee? A koala. Yes! That's absolutely yes. right. Lee is on the board. Everyone's on the board. New category, Roy. Roy. Hansi's cronies yes. is the category, and Lee, you've got the call. I'll have money, 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 please. Money, 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 why not? Hundred dollar question, all come. Which former glider pilot founded the Church of Scientology? Yes, Rebecca? Elron Hubbard. Yes, yes. Elron. Yes, Elron. Yes. The fifth dollar bonus question uh, for you, Rebecca, is which golden, oh, sorry, which Hollywood actor thanked L. Ron in his Golden Globe acceptance speech in 1996? John Travolta? Yes, it was John Travolta. Absolutely. Yes, it was. And before we lose any more of our $5,000... Thanks very much. much. It's time for a break. Enjoy the commercials. Yeah, these are great. Oh, Good evening. Former Prime Minister Malcolm Fraser has attacked John Howard's handling of moral and social issues. He's calling for a Bill of Rights. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister is still refusing to cut fuel tax, despite concerns our falling dollar will push prices even higher. Anger in Perth from the family of 24-year-old Gavin Williams, who died after being punched by his neighbour. His attacker, who can't be identified because his son joined in the assault, will serve just a minimum two years in jail. A Brisbane couple has been found guilty of failing to provide the necessities of life to their schizophrenic daughter. Peter and Margaret Nielsen had kept the 34-year-old in a caged room. And a security scare in today's torch relay. A teenager tried to extinguish the flame as it was carried through McLean in northern New South Wales. Full details on those stories coming up in Seven's Lake News. The face of evil. He has no conscience. He shows no remorse. All our athletes deserve a tribute to their achievements and aspirations. Dawn, Harvey Norman are offering out and a 1.8 litre engine. Holden Astra delivers superior performance. With Lotus Tune suspension, it drives. <laughs> Welcome back to Winroy and HG's Money, the show where we cough up the cash to make Australia smarter. Now, Roy, just run us through those scores. Yes, the scores, HG, are as follows. Lee and Steve sharing $50, yes. and Rebecca's way out in front with $300! Right. <laughs> now, Roy, what's our next category? The next category, HG, is Cockroach Corner. And Rebecca, who lives in a haunted house, has the pick of the board. Ah, oh, but it's in Melbourne, so no cockroaches. I'll take uh, Back in the Saddle. Back, Back in, in the, the saddle, $50 question. Which high-profile QC and new mother is taking the Australian government to court over mandatory sentencing laws? Yes, Rebecca? Sherry Booth or Sherry Blair? Oh, Beautiful both, answer. And that is a wonderful answer. Yes. Thank you. A wonderful Very answer. answer. Yes. And because she gave all that information, actually, I'm going to give a $50 bonus. Yay! Oh, wow. $50 Look bonus. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the first time ever. That's yours. Thank you. And another $50 bonus question is, uh, what's the name of Sherry's recently born son? 
Oh, Leo. Yes! yes. Oh, Leo. That's right. Yes. Absolutely right. New category, Feed of Fish. And, Rebecca, you've still got the call of the board. Uh, fat idiots. Fat idiots. Oh, Righto. Yeah. $50 question. In which sports are Aki Bono and Waka Nohana superstars? Yes, yes Lee. Lee. Sumo wrestling? Absolutely yes. right. Sumo wrestling. $50 bonus question. Which condiment is thrown into the ring during a sumo tournament? Salt? Yes! yes. Salt to Very good. Very good. Oh, yes. yes. Next category is, uh, um, you know, feeding the chooks. <laughs> and Lee. Hey. I have scumbags, please. Scumbags. $100 question. About which Liberal politician did Paul Keating ask, does a souffle rise twice? <laughs> yes, Rebecca? Uh... Oh, what's his name? Yes, no, we can't, no we can't accept that. accept that. Anybody else? <laughs> yes, Lee? Gough Whitlam? Uh, no. no. Steve, it's up to you. Just pick a politician. Go on. Just one. Howard. Uh, well, <laughs> press your button. Well, I was wrong anyway, so don't bother. No, it was... <laughs> Andrew Peacock is the uh, souffle we were looking for. A uh, $50 bonus question uh, for all comers. Which Hollywood actress has Andrew Peacock been linked with? Yes, yes. Lee. Shirley MacLaine? Yes. yes. Did you ever spend any time <laughs> watching them? Watching them, what, doing it? Uh, no, <laughs> just running around, shopping. Having a cup of coffee. Did you ever have them under surveillance? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, God, yeah. she's good. Uh, uh, the next quick category she is, but wait, there's more. And, and Lee. Lee has the pick of the board. I have, but wait, there's more. Yes, but wait, there's more. $50 mm -hmm. question here. Tim Shaw became famous for flogging which company's products on TV? <laughs> yes, Steve? Dave. Demtel. Yes, yes, absolutely right. Demtel. Oh, yes. yes. Loves his TV, does Steve? Yes. $50 bonus question. Uh, Tim often threw in a set of which kitchen utensils to sweeten the deal. Knives, they were. Yes, yes. can you help me? Uh, a little bit. You've got the answer. You've got but, the answer. But a little bit more. What, what sort, sort of knives? Of knives? Oh, some sort of Japanese name, knives. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, that is an interesting answer. What, sumo wrestlers knives? <laughs> no, I think the answer we're looking for, not taking the points away no. from you, was steak knives. Yes. Steak knives. Oh, 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 yeah. And the shot pig running off into the distance <laughs> indicates the end of the round. And Roy, run us through those scores. Yes, they are, HG. Uh, Rebecca, $400. Lee, $200. Steve, $150. So sadly. Ah, uh, Steve. Gee, mate, you've done well, though. You've done well. Uh, the knives, the Demtel answer, they were all terrific. But unfortunately, because you haven't as many dollars on the board as everybody else, we're going to have to say farewell to you, but you get a real bonus here. Oh, you get the, the prunes. <laughs> and we're encouraging all of Australia to get into prunes. You've got the Shane Warne signed spinner's ball. And it tells you where to put your fingers to, to bowl the flipper or the leggy, all of that. That's there. Ripper. You get a cricket bat, and this is a one-off. This has been autographed by Don Bradman in 1948, by Babe Ruth in 1948, <laughs> by Albert Einstein in 1948, <laughs> and by Bob Dyer. So that's a fantastic prize there. Oh, and it doesn't stop. Speechless. You get, yes, forever yours, Judith. And this is uh, Judith McGrath. Uh, she stars in All Saints, and uh, that's there for you as well, to give away to someone. You get the history of the Olympic Games, and that's a, a beautiful compendium. And it doesn't end there, because you get... And we've been waiting to give this away for a long time. It's a slide projector, Steve. I know they're not all that popular anymore, but we love them. There we are. It's a slide projector. Yeah, boy. Uh, and the box comes with it, and the big bonus with it is, though, Steve, is that it doesn't work. So that's all yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. And very this much. money, HG, I'm going to put it on the ground, dribble it around, boot it through. Yes, over yes. here we go. There it is. Yeah! Yes! Yes! And in a minute or two, these two survivors are going to try and dig deeper into our wallet and have a go at the rest of the $5,000. Thanks, Thanks very, very much. much. But we're going to make it a little bit harder because one of us is going to become a contestant. Who's it going to be, Roy? Well, if it's Tails, it's me, HG. Tails it is, Roy. Oh, You're in. OK. OK, so after the break, Roy will be defending our money on Win Roy and HG's Money. See you in a minute. Yes, welcome back to Win Roy and HG's Money. And this week, Roy will be defending our money. And, Roy, I think I should point out at this moment in the show that uh, you have no prior knowledge 
of the questions or the answers I'm about to set the panel. No, nope, not a clue, yes. HG. Nope. God's honour, Scouts on a Roy. Scouts on a Roy, Thanks very much. And uh, don't forget, whoever has the most money between Lee and Rebecca at the end of this round gets on to push into the red zone and have a go at the whole five grand. <coughs> Thanks very much. In a one-on-one -on -one with Roy uh, at the moment. Of course, as you can see, Rebecca's got 400 and Lee has 200. Now, these questions are worth any amount of money from naught to a million dollars, so anybody can still win. And the topics are... Chewy on your boot. Home slaughtering. Stab the rabbit. Strip Jack naked and the art of stool. <laughs> One of my favourites. And Roy, well, you can have a go. Mm. And I, just before we do this, yes, uh, Roy see. just acts as a speed hump, preventing the others, Lee and Rebecca, from getting their hands yeah. on our money. That's so, right. I won't be winning any money. I, I might win anything. Uh, HG, the art of stool looks pretty yeah. attractive. For a $400 question, uh, which part of your body would you be most likely to rest on a poo? <laughs> Yes, Roy. Your feet? Yes, that's feet. absolutely right. Feet. Very good, Roy. New category, go, Anna. Yeah, well, how about home slaughtering, HG? I've always been a big rap on that. <laughs> yes. Roy, $200 question. Panel, uh, haggis is made from the heart, lungs, liver and stomach of which animal? Yes, Rebecca? The sheep. Yes, sheep. Absolutely right. <laughs> Yes. Uh, do, you, do you like haggis in the haunted house, Rebecca? I would rather not have haggis in no. a haunted house, actually. Do some of the other members of the haunted house team, do they like a bit of haggis? They could do. I could consult. Yes. I do like haggis, HG, if it's not cooked. Yeah, yes. No, that's right. Oh, beautiful. New category, dug by dorks. And, Rebecca, you've got the call of the board. Uh, I'll take Chewy on your boot, thanks, HG. Chewy on your boot. $300 question. Which Sullivan star was also chairman of the Brisbane Bears Aussie Rules team? Yes, Roy. Was it Paul Cronin? It was Roy. Paul, yeah, Cronin. Paul Cronin. That's right. <laughs> New category. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Roy, you've got the call uh, of the ball. Yes. How about uh, stab the rabbit, HG? Stab the rabbit. Three hundred dollar <laughs> question. Fertilisation takes place in which organ of the female reproductive system? <laughs> yes, Lee. The uterus. Well, I haven't got that as the answer. No. It sounds right, but apparently it's not. Yes, Roy. Would it be in the fallopian tubes, HG? It would, Roy. That's ah. absolutely right. That's absolutely right. New category, injury cloud. Uh, how about uh, dug by dorks, HG? Dug by dorks. $400 question, according to Douglas Adams. Which number in, is the answer to life, the universe and everything? Yes, Roy. Is it 42, HG? It is, Roy. 42. 42. That, of course, comes from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, as I Yeah, recall. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's right. Fabulous book, HG, and a, and a very ordinary uh, television show. Yes. Now, swelling with pride is the next question. Um, sadly, before we get to that category, the shot cat disappearing around the corner uh, yeah. indicates the end of the round. Yeah. And as we can see, at the end of this round, we have Rebecca on $600, with a bit of daylight between Rebecca and Lee only on $200. So right. sadly, it we is can sad let you too. go back to your investigations. Yes, Lee. yes. <laughs> Lee, look, we will have some exhibits here for you, I feel sure. And it looks like you're lucky, because you're getting the food pack. <laughs> the food pack. <laughs> now, pearl barley we love. Now, barley's great. Don't you, barley on your breakfast, uh, especially in association with prunes. And we're trying to get all of Australia to eat more prunes. Uh, they're there for you. We've got spam, of course, which, uh, well, if the prunes are working too well, the spam will certainly uh, sort that out. <laughs> Sliced beetroot. Now, I'm a rap for beetroot. Do you like beetroot, Lee? Oh, of course you do. Beetroot's great. And ricotta cheese. <laughs> we love cheese. So that's there for you as well. You can't beat ricotta. And we've got here, of course, the Stars of Wheel. That's Sophie Faulkner and Rob Elliott. And they've, they've signed that, autographed that, especially for you, Lee. Thank you. And it says here, uh, Jenny, all my love, Bruce. That's from Bruce McAvaney. So if you want to change your name to Jenny, <laughs> you could frame that and it would become really meaningful for you. Okay. So, Lee, thank you very oh, much you for being part of the part. show. Yeah. And this HG, I'm going to take that. Dribble it over, yes. jump shot. I've got it, Roy. Bounces once, bounces twice. Up in the air, bang! Yes! Yeah. And now it all comes down to this. When we return, it'll be Rebecca and Roy one on one for the rest of our five thousand dollars in the red zone. Thank you very much. Indeed, join us then on Win Roy and HG's money. See you after the. <laughs> 
the Red Zone, where we see if one proud Australian can outsmart the hosts and win all $5,000 of Roy and HG's money. Yes, congratulations, Rebecca. Here's $600, which you've won already, plus yep. the $50, which Roy gave you, foolishly. Uh, that's all <laughs> yours now to keep, but uh, now you have a chance to win the rest of our $5,000. Thanks very much. Now, Rebecca, I'm going to ask you 10 questions in 60 seconds. The same 10 that I'm going to ask Roy. Uh, if you should beat him, the rest of the money comes to you. Now, what do you want to do here? Do you want to go first and answer the questions first, or do you want to let Roy have a swing at it first? What do you think he'll do? Uh, I'll go second. You'll go please. second. OK, yeah. well, that means we have to put you into the soundproof Good luck, booth. Thank and you. Roy, get into your digs over yes, there. Yes, But first up, we'd better get bloody Phil out. Out you come, <laughs> Phil. Ladies and gentlemen, can you thank Phil, the attendant tonight? Back up there, maybe on your seat. What's Phil doing in there? I don't know, he's just being an idiot. In your pot. <laughs> Headphones on. Thanks. You'll be listening to a bit of Backman Turner Overdrive in yeah. there. That'll keep you quiet. Ooh. OK, Roy, how are you settling in over there? Yeah, fine. Thanks, HG. Right -o. <clears throat> Now, listen, here's your ten questions in 60 seconds. They start now. A word that reads the same backwards and forwards is called a what? Uh, a, 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 a palindrome. Yes. What does Meg Ryan famously simulate in a dinner scene of When Harry Met Sally? Orgasm. Yes. Which celebrity is the, uh, celebrity is the mother of Fifi? Peaches, Pixie, and Tiger Lily. Ah, Tiger Lily. Ah, uh, the blonde, uh, odd woman. Uh, Paulie Yates. Yes. Which two animals feature in the Australian coat of arms? Oh, kangaroo and the emu. Yes, they can't get any easier than that. Cloud seeding is an attempt to produce what? Sorry, what is? Cloud seeding is an attempt to produce what? Oh, rain. Yes. Which part of the sheep is known as lamb's fry? Oh, the liver. Yes. Kidneys. What type of plane crashed recently for the first time in its 31-year history? Concord. Yes. In which city would you find the Memorial Drive tennis courts? Uh, Adelaide. Yes. Which instrument did Daryl Summers play whenever he got a chance? The drums. Yes. Uh, which part of the body does an iridologist examine? The eyes. Yes, I'll accept that. And at the end of your ten questions, Roy, you have the maximum score of ten. <laughs> Yes, Rebecca, you can take them off now. You can take them off. I don't like the looks of that. No, now sadly, as you may have seen, is Roy has ten correct answers. So let's have a go with you, Rebecca, and your ten questions in 60 seconds starts now. A word that reads the same backwards and forwards is called a what? Palindrome. Yes. What does Meg Ryan famously simulate in a dinner scene of when Harry met Sally? An orgasm. Yes. Which celebrity is the mother of Fifi, Peaches, Pixie and Tiger Lily? Um, Polly Yates. Yes. Which two animals feature in the Australian coat of arms? The kangaroo and the emu. Yes. Cloud seeding is an attempt to produce what? Uh, rain. Yes. Which part of the sheep is known as lamb's fry? The testicles. No. Unfortunately, Rebecca, you lose because we got the team right. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. A very exciting, yeah. a very wow. exciting round. Uh, obviously the liver. Yes. Uh, the rest of the answers they've already yeah. heard, so I won't worry about that. But you still have some money and that bonus that Roy gave you, the $50. Uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, but when we open the doors of the institute again, we'll have three more contestants, probably a lot better than Rebecca, trying to win our money. And that's it's bum week. It. It's bum week here at the institute. Come on in. Thanks very much, Rebecca. Thank you. And good me. night, everyone. Denise Van Outen is set to prove how much do you love me? Coming up next on 7. Well, Roy, you'd have to say it was a great night. 6.50. Oh, it's nothing. Lamb's fry, actually. It saved us. Uh, yeah. Well, let's remember to ask that question again. Yeah, because a lot I, I of people don't eat lamb's yeah. fry anymore. No, and that's a great off. shame. Yeah. It was one of the great meals, yeah. lamb's fry. Let's have a night where we serve lamb's fry here at the yeah. Institute. Get a yeah. few people in. Raw. Raw. Eat we'll see if they like it. Yeah. yeah. With a bit of a tartar sauce. Raw. Like that. This program was brought to you with pride by the Institute of Australian Intelligence. Thank <laughs> you.